Good morning, students. This is your wonderful instructor, John. Hey, uh, we, uh, I'm going to try to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to show you something that I would have had you do in the lab this week just to give you something to think about, something to look at. Um, but it's about the gas furnaces, and I'm going to focus on a package unit uh, this morning uh, with an anonymous video uh, recorder. He's going to help me out. But uh, anyway, hey, I hope you remember about the, uh, the union and the cutoff uh, that we went over the other day uh, in the lab and when I had y'all take out the gas valve manifold and stuff like that. So um, you're going to have to remember that and I think most of y'all are going to be able to put that together, uh, if not all of y'all, uh, very confident that you remember that. So, uh, But just remember that a union is a place where you can basically uh, take a coupling apart without having to cut any lines or undo everything. So you got to have the union. All right, so uh, the the unit that I'm about to be on does not have a union. It's uh, standalone by itself. It's on its own wheels. Uh, matter of fact, there it is, right over there. Um, it doesn't have a gas line hooked up to it. So uh, bear with me on this. But I'm going to take you from the point where you've already disconnected the gas line, and uh, we're going to basically pull out the manifold, and I'm going to show you how to clean the burners and the flame sensor. Uh, and you know just a short little couple minute video give you something to look at while we're all at home with this wonderful virus thing going around so uh, hold tight and I'll be right back and we're back hey I walked across the room here hey this is gonna be our package unit uh, there's my uh, anonymous video recorder he's sneaking in the side door don't come close they'll catch you in the mirror he, he wants to stay uh, anonymous today so he's not going to talk or anything. He's just going to hold my camera. But uh, anyway, look, here, here's the inside of our... They, they know you. They know your voice. You're going to be famous. All right. So uh, anyway, hey, this is the inside of our gas pack. Uh, like I said, I've already... Oh, this you all over here. Yeah, it is. Is that the gas pack? Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Right. We're good. So, but hey, I'm, I'm going to start... Uh, like I said, I've already got the gas line removed. Uh, but we're going to take the, uh, the inside components right here out. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to clean them, uh, what I would do with them, and uh, we'll go from there. Don't, don't look at my face. They know what I look like. Mm. Anyway, so, uh, oh, you got it? You doing good? Oh, two and a half minutes. Look at that. All right, so here we go. We're going to remove all this. We've got a screw right here, uh, and pretty much on, a, on these uh, carrier gas packs, once you pull that screw out, the whole insides will just, you can just remove it out, and I'll show you that in just a second when I step out. Uh, and let Mr. Uh, Mr. Allen do the rest of the video here, right? You haven't told him who I am. Yeah, you, you talked. <laughs> the whole time, all right? So here we go, right? You're going to zoom out a little bit. You should do this with wrenches, but uh, because of what it is, uh, I'm going to remove the, uh, the inlet gas line, right? And you would have to do this with wrenches out in the field. Uh, hopefully there is a union uh, right here so you don't have to disconnect uh, too much. Uh, of the gas line, but once you uh, once you have that inlet gas line out of your way, right? I'm going to set this right over here on the table, right? And you can see that up to the point of our gas valve, there is nothing there, right? So I'm going to take I'm gonna take this five sixteenth screw out. I hope the audio comes clear, you know. Five sixteenth screw, right? And here we go. How beautiful is that? You have your spark igniter right here. We're going to simply pull the wire off, right? And it'll hang out the way. We also have a flame sensor wire that we're going to remove, right? Remember what color they are because if, if you hook them up wrong, you're going to have problems, all right? So, um, and then up top we have uh, two wires going to our rollout switch, right? We're going to take those off, two blue wires, right? And then we have our two wires that power the gas valve uh, during normal operation. We're going to remove those, right? Uh, but basically what you have is your burner assembly. We have two in-shot burners here. Uh, we're going to walk over here to the table, and I'm going to show you how to uh, take this apart and clean it and so on, right? Let's just check that and see how it's rolling. Huh? Just check it and see 